Hi, I'm Mayor Tim Balderman and I'd like to welcome you to this edition of Community Business Spotlight. Joining me today is Mr. Paul Allen from Custom Framing to You. Paul, thanks for being here. You bet. All right. Tell us a little bit about your business. Well, it's uh, custom picture framing and I've set it up basically uh, to be a mobile service. I uh, can bring all the uh, framing materials uh, to uh, the customer's home or office and then we can design uh, whatever they need to be framed. I also have a visualization software on my laptop that I bring along and uh, once we make the choices of the mats and the molding uh, I can download the image of what's to be framed and uh, show you exactly what it looks like when it's framed. And uh, basically then uh, I order the materials, build it in my workshop, and then uh, deliver it to your home or office and uh, install it for you also. Oh, that's great. Now, do you have a, a storefront of sorts or do you just operate out of your vehicle and, and come to people's home? No, uh, basically um, I, I set it up to be a home-based business okay. uh, to uh, cut down on the overhead. Sure and uh, that enables me to give the customers a, a bigger discount and keep the, the price uh, lower. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, you f do you frame anything, just pictures, or what else, what else do you frame? What other Basically, uh, whatever will fit in a frame. Um, memorabilia, mm -hmm. um, collectibles, uh, needlework, uh, balls, jerseys, um, anything like I said, that will fit in a frame. Uh, we also can do digital printing. Um, if you have digital images that uh, you want to have blown up and, and framed, we can do that. Um, that pretty much covers it. Good. Now, framing, does that also include like shadow boxes and that sort of thing, or is it just your regular flat frame? Definitely. A, a shadow box is just a, a frame that's uh, got a wider molding on it, so you can have some depth to it to fit an object inside there. Very good. And how long have you been doing this? A uh, little over a year. I uh, <clears throat> got into it after I uh, uh, finished a career as a, a carpenter mm -hmm. and uh, went to the American Picture Framing Academy and uh, got certified through them to, to learn basically how to do it and have been uh, starting up the company in the past year. Good for you. And probably a lot of skills you learned as a carpenter translate and transfer over exactly. to the framing. Trim carpentry is basically the same as sure. making a picture frame. Sure, absolutely. So now, uh, do you live right here in New Lenox as well? Yes. You operate out of there and uh, what do you like about dealing with the people in New Lenox? Well, it's uh, the, the biggest thing uh, we've found that we really like about it is it's young and growing. Uh, my son is seven and there's an unlimited amount of kids for him to play with and all of the uh, activities through the park district, the mm -hmm. football, baseball, soccer, it's, it's great. So do you, what are you finding most that you're doing in town? Is it picture framing or is it memorabilia stuff? What do you see? Uh, right now it's, it's mostly picture framing. I've uh, got a, I was lucky enough to get uh, hooked up with a construction company and uh, doing some work for one of their clients uh, doing some large picture frames for a, a retail outlet. So. Well, that's good. Well, I know I, I'm a little bit of a sports memorabilia collector myself. That's I've got all kind of jerseys and, and, and balls and uh, you name it, uh, basketball shoes, you know, I've got everything. And, and some are uh, framed and some of the jerseys are framed and some are not. And uh, really just a cost issue and it's a tremendous difference uh, how much more professional it looks once something is framed. Well, it protects it also right. and, and retains the value for you and, uh, you know, keeps it clean and uh, really enhances the, uh, the, the memorabilia. Very good. And you brought in some of the, you've got several different types of frames as far as uh, width and design and uh, types of uh, uh, material as well, I imagine. Yeah, that's a small sample of uh, the, uh, the moldings that I have in my workshop, I've got over 600 different samples. Uh, I, I'll, obviously, I'm limited to what I can bring on a, a sure. client uh, meeting, but uh, I try and get an idea of what your home decor is and then try and match up uh, what to bring along. But uh, there's a lot of different 
options as far as the, the moldings go. Sure, and you have, and you also provide the different types of glass as well, whether it's UV protected or whatnot. Or? Yeah, there's uh, half a dozen different uh, grades of glass. There's museum glass and uh, non-reflective glass, uh, which gets kind of pricey, but sure. uh, there are different uh, options there. Very good. Well, custom framing to you. Anything else you want the people to know? Um, just that it, it's set up to uh, make it more convenient for the people. I mean, I'm willing to work on their schedule, nights, weekends, sure. whatever. And I know uh, a lot of people have a preconceived notion that custom framing is, is expensive. And uh, like I said before, uh, because of the fact that I don't have any overhead, I'm able to, uh, you know, give a good discount for the, the customers and keep the price down. Good. So custom framing to you. Look for that online to, uh, for your contact information. Yeah, I've got a website and there's also a YouTube video out there that shows exactly how the process works. Excellent. Well, Paul, thanks for joining us today. Thank and I you. want to thank all of you for watching this edition of Community Business Spotlight.